up guys it's your boy alex and we are back with another reaction video once again we're back with the Yu-Gi-Oh dual corner also again i know i've been doing a lot of those videos but i have to get it out at some point but yes we are back again with some more digigex and today we're taking a look at the next episode of his series which surprisingly um is kind of interesting he's going against another youtuber again um so i don't know this might end up being another long duel or something i'm not entirely sure how this is going to happen but we're just going to jump straight into it um no special intro we're just going to jump straight into the video that's that's how it's going to work today uh yeah we're starting off a lot different for this first for this episode we're starting off in the cyber realm and not with a intro hmm well, I guess we might as well like get into the video and see how it goes. So, without further ado, let's dive right into this episode of Duels of the Cyber Realm and see how things are going. Anyway, starting the video in three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah. Also, I'm uh, apparently using a new updated version of the recording system that I didn't even know happened. So, hopefully, it looks good to you guys, and that <clears throat> that way you guys can hear me and not just like. <laughs> Anything else? This is actually kind of cool. Oh, it's got like a cool little, um, hollow card, I guess? I... And his opponent today is Wild Card. Nice. Alright, it seems like a normal day in Equestria. No evil things happening. And I'm assuming that's. Yep, that's Digi. Gliding and walking at the same time. Hmm. I guess we can call it so, walking. So, according to my list, yeah, that doesn't sound my right. next opponent is <clears throat> Wild Card. So, I'll have to go find him then. Hmm. Alright, time to go glide to his next opponent. Wow, I'm hungry. Oh, hello. What does Pinkie Pie you keep must putting be wild in those brownies card. anyway? They are so oh, there went delicious. <laughs> it's a very weird design to me, this character. He's an orange pony with Rainbow Dash's hair and her tail. But he has a watch on. I mean, that's kind of interesting, I guess. That makes him a different kind of character, I guess. Different from Rainbow Dash. How, I'm not sure, but... Whatever it gets going, I guess. It's still a cute design, honestly. Oof! Ooh. Oof! Yeah, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure hell? that the volume is up real quick. Oh. What a weird coincidence! Yeah, there we go. I would find you shortly after I just saw you on my list of opponents. Oh, hey, Digi. I was wondering why I ran into something fluffy. Hello then, Wild Card. It has been a while since we last chatted. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we talked, let alone without a screen. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> Not much, just head into uh, Shirky Corner, looking to stuff my face and find other ponies to chat with about Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, Hoofball! Is oh. that Yu-Gi-Oh! He's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu fan. A moment? I uh, can what? tell! No. What's a Yu-Gi-Oh! I was totally talking about Hoofball and nothing else. Go Sports! Really? Sure. Look over there! There's a Reflect Founder! What? Where? <laughs> Got him! Hoofball, huh? Uh, yeah! Reflect Bounder is one of our greatest defensive plays! Used by that one You're not getting yourself dude. out of this situation, In bud, so there's no game. use hiding it. With that one team that did that one thing. And you don't believe me, do you? Nope. Alright, you got me. I'm a total egghead and I like dueling. I haven't touched a sports ball since I was a cult in school. I just didn't want ponies to laugh at me for being a dork. Yeah, nowadays, people See, wouldn't call them no a nerd for that, for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Just don't go spreading around unless it's important, okay? Alright, then. So what's new with you? Any updates regarding Globar? What? Yeah, last time we chatted, you said something about <clears throat> a goat thing. What was his name? Burger? Sorry, I'm a... It's Grogar. Uh-oh. Robar? Grogar. Gargle? Rogar! Bob? <laughs> Fine, let's call him Bob. So what's the deal with Bob? Uh, I haven't really I'm seen sure him Bob is like the same... Still probably planning something big. 
Well, whatever Frogger does, hopefully you'll be ready for him. I thought we're calling him Bob! Who's Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That's not to make Digimon! Whoa, calm down there, Grizzly Bear. Let's just take it easy, okay? I really don't want to be in your mouth today. <sighs> Sorry about that. Mm. It's okay. We all get that way sometimes. It's like I always say, it doesn't matter if you have hooves or paws because you still got a nose. Boop. <laughs> oh, that's Never so gets cute. Old. Now you were saying something Yeah, honestly, that's the face I would make if I got oh, booped that. by either well, of these two. Well, according to my list, you're my next opponent to do a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Ooh, sounds like fun. Good thing I never leave home without my custom cards. My YouTuber army has been itching for a duel for a long time. YouTuber army, eh? Yeah, think about it. An army of Who-mans from YouTube that make great videos banding together to fight for their creative freedom? What could be more awesome than <clears> that? That's yeah, cool. this will. I've been wanting to try out this totally new be interesting to see. For a while. New cards? I'm excited already. What is it? It's called Fallout Equestrian. Hmm. Oh. Okay then. What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay then. <laughs> so you want to head to the side room for our duel? Sure. Let's do it. Yep. Going to duel in the cyber realm. Again, I feel like though this is a bad idea for them to do that every time they go into the cyber oh, realm. Let's do this one. Just a weird thought. Yep, still seeing that cool little life point meter. All right, I'll start first. I said two cards face down, and I will summon Ginger Tiger. With okay. Her on the field, she gets so two it's like armor Fallout damage. mixed with uh, My Little Pony. Wow. This is interesting. Oh, and they get shield something counters. Something I want you to know that some of my Fallout oh Equestrian monsters in my deck and extra deck will have an armor counter effect, no matter if they're special summon, flip summon, and or normal summon. <clears throat> Anyways, I will activate Ginger's other effects. Once she's normal or special summon, I can add either yeah, one Braveheart or normal. I think we pretty much get the gist of what they are. Braveheart. Oh. Well, that can't be turn. good. Alright, I draw. Since you control monsters and I don't, I'll start by special summoning the no no from my hook. Next, I'll <laughs> oh, normal summon Seth the Programmer. Remember the, when then that I channel was a the thing? YouTube Guidelines spell card, copyright. Once per turn, I can no. target a YouTuber army monster on my field, so I'll choose Seth Well, I mean, if time. I'm gonna be honest, now I get to summon a copyright Digi did show me this before, so type, attribute, I level, kinda knew points. about this it was coming, so... Oh, gosh. And the best token. card? Well, I have this card and you have wow. at least one copyright token. Those tokens are the only monsters you can attack me with. Now, Yuki no- But yeah, Digi actually showed me something about this because he said it was going to be a little crazy with what he created for this episode. So, we have a YouTube deck against an Equestria Fallout mix deck or whatever they said it was. But, uh, yeah. I'm also just going to make sure that everything is good so I'll we can continue on. Let's see how this goes. Since you're attacking one of my oh, wow. Equestrian monsters while it's in attack position, all of your attack position monsters are destroyed. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, there goes most Damn of his monsters. I'll set one card in the turn. Draw! I will set one other card face down and summon no Ooh, right. okay. This will be interesting. I will activate your shield second, counters, though. Which I'll fetch another ginger sight. And I'll activate her third effect. Once per turn, I can add one follow question spell card from my deck to my hall. Which I fetch Sparkle Cats. Oh! I will now activate Sparkle Cats. This card has three of them. Nice! Effects, but I'm going to be using this third effect. I draw three cards and discard one equipped spell and one quick play spell from my hall. So basically, Graceful really? Charity. You made a spell card. That yeah, I was about to say, it's like Graceful charity, charity. Am I going to expect to fall out of Questria Pot of Green in the future? Maybe. But I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> Anywho, you never I know. can't do much in this turn. You never but know. Before I end my turn, I activate my spell card, Stable 2. This allows me to wow, summon one more really? monster from my deck or my ball. Hence the term why I'm this episode is called Stable Dwellers. <laughs> in defense mode. Yep, more shield counters. I will now end my turn. 
So I'm definitely cool. assuming that like oh, the shield counters that they use to protect them from being destroyed in battle. Once oh per turn, I can no! Give my monsters a strike counter, and as the saying goes, three strikes, you're out. I'll place one counter on your armored little bit. <laughs> A Next, I will normal summon any capital G. When he's normal summoned, I can change the battle position oh, of one monster on the field, oh, including himself. I spittled on my glasses, so... And any time many That's capital G fun. is in defense position, it switches itself back to attack position, and then I can draw another card. Eh, now I'll activate the field spell YouTube Headquarters. Ah, YouTube headquarters, <laughs> the place where magic is oh, made. Boy. Hard working geeks planning day and night to bring us quality video content and making sure our right to fair use is not impeded by big corporate bullies. A place where all the. Yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Just present your turn, bastard! <laughs> right, okay, okay, did you then. calm down? I'll use my field's first effect, destroying Mega Capital to try to summon another YouTuber from the deck. Come forth, Asian Eyes White Dragon. When you oh, special summon, on. I can fetch a YouTube spell card, so I'll grab YouTube Fusion. And now my Asian Eyes White Dragon attack no ears. at some point he's gonna be using that. Ooh. And there it goes. And that's a lot of damage for him. Well, yeah, I was right! Something Keeps I want to remind being destroyed you in that battle. anytime you attack at a fall equestrian monster that has armor counters on them, one counter will be removed instead. But I will still take battle damage if the monster is in attack position, and defense position too if the attacking monster has a piercing battle damage ability. Yeah, no problem, Digi. I understand armor counters. Kind of like a mini health bar. Them armor counters, Luna damn fall cards can't go down in one hit. No, a little, we gotta uh, give them fucking armor counters bit. because that's totally not OP at all. This happens every time I face somebody on the internet with custom cards. They're always making OP combos and stats, and everyone in the forums tends to be in consensus. Making a deck out of your favorite thing is dumb and stupid. Y you gonna is calm so? down there, bud? Tell me, how's the YouTube business going, Mr. YouTuber Army motherfucker? Uh, uh, yeah, well, shut up. <laughs> Take your damn turn. I'm not mad. You're mad. Okay, then. I draw. Alright. Guess we're I continue on with the duel. I right token to summon the land. Oh, nice! Got rid of his copyright token also. I'm now going to activate Nova Gears' effect. I will now fetch another Sparkle Cactus. I will activate the spell card again. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm going much. to activate its first effect. Oh, I target gosh. the first Sparkle Cactus and the Repair Armor card. They will go to the bottom okay. of my deck and draw one card. I will send another card. Now, I will overlay Ginger Sider. Oh, going for a Synchro Nova Summon. Gears, an Orkut Z Summon. Enclave Soldier. Oh! Not. Oh, never mind. I thought it was. I will not. The way they had the, the background, I thought it was a Synchro Summon, but it's an XC Summon. I can fetch a Magical Energy I'm Weapon stupid. Spell card and equip it onto the monster. I will fetch Plasma Weapons. Oh, boy. This is going it's to be a big attack right things. here. Enclave soldiers will attack your Asianized white dragon. It's mostly just going to be chip damage, but you know. I will have Calamity attack you directly. Oh. Yikes, that has to hurt. Oh! Yeah, that was a lot of damage right there. It can attack twice. <clears throat> but, I'm going to give you some mercy this time around. Now, before I end my turn, I will activate my own field spell. Fall out of question of staples. With this, all of my fall out of question monsters gain 300 attack and defense points. And all monsters and that would also like destroy his field spell if that if this field defense. spell was on here. Also, I can summon level five or higher fallout equestrian monsters without tribute. 
I will now end my turn. Yep, they're getting that boost. <clears throat> yeah. Strong. Also, strike two, little pimp. Okay, never mind. It doesn't destroy his field spell. Jeez, the copyright. Don't forget, players. my field spell oh, is still a God. thing that exists. <laughs> I'll send Core Singer 21 from my oh, to the graveyard to bring back Ethan I play Dragon. And I'll use his effect to add YouTube guideline violence to my hook. Oh my Next, gosh, uh, really? Just a robot. When he's normal summon, I can fetch another YouTuber. So I'll grab another set. And to make sure my monsters are safe, I'll use my copyright spells effect again to give you a new copyright token. This one will copy the stats of just a robot. Oh, yeah, there we go again. Right, time to do some damage. But first, I'll activate... Yeah, this is honestly starting to remind me of the newer days of YouTube. If we all know... If you all know what I mean, basically. But yeah. So you just basically added another one to your hand that is going to do some real big bull crap on your turn, when, or on this turn when it comes into play, but... Oh, this really is not going to go well for Digi. I feel like this is going to be a duel he'll lose. We'll see. It could bring back his losing streak again, but... Then again, I think Digi's doing I'll pretty good for himself, if I'll be honest. He'll inflict double battle damage this turn. Now go and attack Calamity. I don't care if he doesn't die in one hit, do it anyway. Yep. That had to hurt. Not really that much damage, but I guess it's that's really all he can do I'll at this point. That's it. Good luck attacking you with your robot token, whatever. Drop. I will activate one of my traps. Ministry of Image. Oh, By this will be interesting. One card from my paw, I can target up to two monsters on the field, including my own. And you'll take damage equal to half of their attack points. And they will get banished. I will target my own armored little pip and your Asian eyes white dragon. Oh, well, there's a glitch for this. And I can build a draw <laughs> card. I guess that's something that your actually happened while he was making this video. To turn on, activate this card. But since you gave me a copyright token, it doesn't really matter to me right now. Now, I will activate mm. my other trap, Ministry of Arcane Sciences. With this on the field, every fallen equestrian monster on the field are unaffected by your own card effects. I'm going to be activating its second effect, which allows me to grab one fall equestrian card from my graveyard and one from my deck to my paw. I will fetch from my graveyard Sparkle Caps. Yep, getting and that Sparkle Caps deck, back. Ministry of Peace. I'm going to activate the Sparkle Caps card again. And going for its third effect again. What was that turn he just did? I will now end my turn. Ah! Armor counters, ministry traps. This duel is just impossible. What's next? Are you going to have some kind of spell Jeez, card? Jeez, dude, calm down. If I don't hop on my back legs and bark like a dog? Your monsters are immune to a fax, they won't go down in one hit, and there's no monster strong enough for me to stand a chance. Why am I still doing this? I don't know. Why don't you just take your Luna Damn Ministry cards and shut? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. You done? You had a good scream there, bud? <sighs> All right. I think I'm okay now. How long was I screaming? I don't know. 15 minutes, maybe? <laughs> Shit, dude. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, Alright, then. Came over me, I right? guess, can we go back to the duel the now? Out of here. I've done enough damage already, so I surrender. Hold up. I'm not wanting an opponent to surrender that easily. Why not? Seems clear to me that I have no chance, and I think I might have fried Zervox a bit with the screaming. Well, you killed Zarbox. Good job. I know, but let's just get back to the duel already, okay? Okay. Draw. 
I'll activate the spell card, DT Room Mass Banning, banishing another course of Finger 21 from my deck to draw two cards. Well, I drew another one, so I might as well do it again. Banishing my oh, deck okay. to course Finger 21. Could this be so. the start of his comeback? Okay, I might be able to make this work. I activate the YouTube reward spell card subscribing. Since I have just a robot on my field, I can spell something All right. in the deck. Then I'll tribute both of them to some of Dashy Games. Now I can oh, you got card. Dashy Games out now! 1,000 life points to boost his attack by 1,500. <laughs> You're on for Holy crap! In battle, but I can at least rack up some damage. Speaking of which, I'll target Dashy Games with the effect of violence. Oh so yeah, he'll double damage. that gets but to before activate, I try so... Anything, I want to make sure I can cover my ass. So I'll activate the YouTube reward spell card, gaining money. I'll target Dashy Games with wow. this to cover 2,900 life points. Dang! You got some life Let's points go, back, Dashie so that's Games. good. Attack is Enclave Soldiers. Oh, God. Yeah, it's it's still not going to get destroyed because of the shield counters. Yes, I finally did something. Oh, and uh, your move. Draw. All right. See what Before did you can pull I'm off? This one move. I will activate the second effect of Ministry of Arcane Sciences. I fetch from my graveyard Sparkle Cats, and I'll fetch from my deck P twenty one. Yeah. Now it's that was time a weird burp about to come I'll up for me, but trap. I don't know why that happened. Next spell explosion. Since I control a monster with more than 2,500 attack points, all cards on the field are now banished. Ah, yikes! Apologies to headphone users if you're watching this with headphones. Oh gosh! Ah, that noise does not work for me. Ah, gosh! There we go. So yeah, that pretty much went all of his cards. My own cards. Did not have to rip out the eardrums with that sound, though, did he? Now I will activate the Sparkle Caps card. I target my Ministry of Arcane Sciences and Ministry of Peace from my banners. I place them back in the bottom of my deck and draw one more card. I will set two cards face down and I will summon Blackjack Level 4. Ooh, Blackjack? I love that game. Hit me! Wow. Ow. You're the one who asked for it, wild card! Draw. Well, here's a lucky turnaround. Since I control no cards on the field at the moment, I can throw someone from my hoop another yep. Dashy Games. Using and Digi's an effect field, to... Not Digi, but Dashy. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <sighs> now it's Dashy getting stronger. Games will attack Blackjack. I will activate my trap. Ministry of Wartime Technology. You're now about to oh, experience boy. a double amount of pain coming from your own monster. Not quite. I'll discard set the programmer from my hoof in order to negate your trap, and then I can draw another card. Dashy Games, continue your attack. Ugh, gosh. Well, that attack went through. Woo! Oh, it is very close, ladies and gentlemen. It is super close with this duel. Like... Dang. I know at this point Digi could make a comeback in this. Then again, I'm not exactly sure how he's going to make a comeback. But we'll see how things go. We will see exactly how things go. So Since I didn't let's just sit back yet, and watch this. Oh gosh, Phantom Strider, so really? <laughs> okay. Bring it in a bunch of OG YouTubers. Already, so it don't matter. I end my turn. Alright, let's see if Digi can make a comeback at least. This allowed me to recover 1,000 of my life points. Oh, what's he planning on doing with this card? 
Oh, okay, he's just gonna get some life points back. I will banish both Ministry of and instantly fusion summoning with two traps? Ministry Mayor Applejack and Ministry Dang! Alright! They're both gonna have three shield counters. Yep, I knew it! I will normal <laughs> summon another Nova Geeks. Oh boy. More fucking armor counters! Oh, shut up, you whiny son of a bitch. <laughs> Anyways, I will take okay. Ginger Cider from my deck. And I will fetch a little Macintosh from my deck. I will activate right, so we little got some good spells coming and in. Equip it onto Applejack. Well, now it's time for the battle. That boosted it up a little bit more. Applejack attack Phantom Strider. Oh. So much for Phantom Strider! Oh, now it's even more close. I know I can't build attack your dashing games due to higher attack. So I will set one more park face down and I'll end my turn. Draw! Shit, I'm so close. I'll never be able to summon Petey Pie now. Oh well, guess I'll take what I can get. I activate you. So we're not gonna see PewDiePie at all, so that's That's just wonderful. What's he bringing out? Oh SMG4! I can't Nice! But still the strongest monster on the field. So Dashy Games attack is Applejack. I activate my trap. Ministry of Morale. With it activated, your monster okay. effects on the field and in the graveyard are now negated. What? Well, that didn't go too well. Oof. Well, it's barely, barely close. SMG4, attack his Nova Gears with your Waluigi launcher. Waluigi time. <laughs> <laughs> Waluigi! Launcher! Nearly dead, though. But, yeah, I know I said at this point that, like, it's anyone's game now, but looking at the life point counters now, it's literally anyone's game at this point. Then again, Digi might pull out the win. You never know. He has started to get a winning streak back a little bit, so that is the good thing, at least, but... Then again, I'm kind of interested to see how Wildcard plays this out. If he's uh, if he's got any face downs that can stop Digi's attack or anything. So let's find out. Because it's going to be very very close. I think it's safe to say those those shield counters are very very annoying, in my opinion. I don't really think you will survive. You guys can because see me better. I can turn this around very easily. First, I activate my last Sparkle Caps. Alright, activating Sparkle Caps again. And Calamity. Just to draw. I activate another Staple 2. Oh, time, what's he got going on here? From my deck. Oh gosh, there went, there went another burp. Now, Sorry about that. Little oh, now is he Synchro Summoning? In order to synchro what's he bringing out, though? Is the question. Got his little pick. Oh, okay, this is nice. This is nice. Four? Four no, no, shield no, counters? No, 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 That's literally how I feel right now. No, 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 Okay, he's done. Get the fuck back here, you piece of shit. <laughs> no, you can't make me. Yeah, probably shouldn't mess with someone who knows magic. Oh, come on! <laughs> now, if yeah, you, you had to, Digi. Before I finish you off, I will activate the equip spell, Bowfire and Blancher, and equip this on the Oh, boy. Spell. So Digi's going... St 
He's going straight now, for the finish right it's here. To finish you off. Goddess Little Pip, strike out SMG4 with your Bellfire Egg Launcher. Oh, jeez. Well, that can't be good. Ah, not again! Ah, <laughs> oh, that noise! Gosh, that just... Again, sorry headphone users. Yep! He lost! And you might have killed him, did he? You might have straight up murdered someone. You did that last episode. Well, you almost did that last episode, so... Yeah. Whew. At least it didn't blow up the Cyber <laughs> Realm, so that's a good thing. Good game, Digi. To be honest, this YouTuber deck could use a bit of tweaking. There's too much offense and not enough defense in here, and someone online suggested something to do with Link Summoning, whatever that is. Eh, I usually don't have Link Summoning onto my duels since I'd rather have a variety of extra deck summonings on the field than just one extra deck monster on the line. Then again, you do have, like, some heavy yeah, hitters in that YouTuber sense. army deck. My quality Equestria deck is or a bit whatever he called it, I guess. But there's a side of me who Not sure. doesn't really give a crap. I understand. You should see me playing Jars. The most common word ponies use to describe that deck is annoying. Ah, that's cool. So, what do you want to do now? We'd like to chat with you some more, but can you please teleport us back to Sugar Cube Corner first? I'm still kind of hungry. Sure. We can have a chat there and have some ice cream or some other sweets of your choice. Awesome! Alright, time to go back to... to uh, I can't even talk. Ah, stop being tongue-tied! Also, are they at someone's sweet... Oh, yeah, they were gonna go order food, food, right? Again, totally sorry about the screaming, Digi. I guess I get a little bit cranky when I don't eat. That's fine, buddy. Anyways, I got a question. Will you be willing to help me out against Grongar if he tries to do anything? Sure, buddy. Ain't no pony or ram gonna mess with my friends and get away with it. Awesome. Oh, boy. So, do you want to have a hug? Yeah, also, Digi yeah, disappeared there for, like, before. a second. Right, I don't know what it was up with that. <laughs> How'd it go? Uh, why are you okay? So, where is Oh, he is straight up dead. <laughs> Alright, there you have it, guys. That was my reaction to the next episode of Duels of the Cyber Realm, and, uh, Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was just something that uh, me and my sister did for uh, her friend Chris. It was his birthday, and we put streamers all over this uh, extra guest room. And actually, yeah, we uh, helped her put that up. We had to move the desk that is usually used for office work, but I'll be honest, we don't really use it as much. We moved it over there so we could put some of his gifts over there, so... There is that. But anyway, yes, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm really sorry if the audio got a little too loud for everyone. Um, uh, so I've been using uh, the new, the stuff that I've been using just recently updated. So it is a little weird at first. But hopefully you guys can still hear me. In the video, I still hope you can hear my audio, uh, me with the face cam and everything. I'm hoping you guys can hear me in this. I'm really, really hoping because I don't want to have to like redo this entire reaction on a different thing that's going to mess up even more. And then I'm going to have to stop reactions again and then find a new way to do a screen recording for that. So that's not fun. That that's not what I want to do. I don't want to. I don't want to have to stop doing reactions again, guys, because I already been through that and that was not fun. Uh, but anyway, uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to never miss a video. Anyways, I will see all you awesome guys and gals later. Bye-bye! I messed up my outro, but I'll get it back. I'll, I'll get it back again.